things in the gift basket this year and thought I would share with you as to one of the items that I did that. So, um, what I have is I have an acrylic um, tumbler and I use permanent vinyl to put um, the phrase on it, I teach what's your then superpower, you can see that. And I have these in a variety of red and green and clear. I kind of um, switched up the um, lids to kind of match the teacher um, theme. So, um, and then um, they had actually the plastic straws. And this is one that I had left over. Um, when I order my tumblers, I order them by the case. And one of the straws were cr was cracked. So this is an extra mug that I have left over. So for this demonstration, I have um, a paper straw. But it looks good. So we have that. And then um, these are the note cards that I designed for this year. Um, and they are a regular A2 size card on the inside. But on the outside, I matted it with um, green. All of the teachers that I gave out had green. These are some that I had left over. And so I put a variety in there of them in this pack. They have five cards. And what it is is the matted um, piece of cardstock here. I cut the edge with a, um, I believe it's EK Success. I can't tell who made this punch, but I think it's EK Success, um, the notebook paper punch. So I punched the edge. And then um, this is, I'm not sure why you're getting that shadow, sorry. This is um, another piece of, um, I think this is copy paper. It's thin. It's not as thick as cardstock. A very thin cardstock um, paper that I emboss with the embossing folder um, from Hobby Lobby. And this is washi tape. And I got this washi tape from Michaels. It was um, they only had one row, and I don't, so I don't have any left over. I used every bit of it. But I got it from Michaels, and I thought it, with the numbers on it and the different primary colors, that it really looked good for kind of a school thing. Let me see if I can find the embossing folder that I used. I keep my embossing. I have two drawers like this. I think they're for a CD holder, and I keep all of my embossing folders in them. And when I start on a project, a theme project, I kind of go through my embossing folders and kind of and get an idea of what I want to do or what I want it to look like. So um, in my craft room, I'll just have everything out for that particular time, season of year, or that particular project. And so everything is at my fingertip when I need it. But because I'm re sort of reenacting this gift basket with the teacher um, appreciation gifts I don't actually have that embossing folder out because this is July and I actually did teacher appreciation in I think May and I got so busy that I didn't find time to videotape the project or take pictures at the time of the project so I um, I had bits and pieces here and there here's the folder here and there that I um, put together to kind of recreate this video for you. So I hope it's helpful. I was looking at my um, blog and statistics on my YouTube videos and Pinterest and I see that most people kind of like to see my teacher appreciation gift video. I guess her idea is, I'm not sure, but um, not many people have come in so I'm not sure. but. Um, I do a different theme every year. And so this is the A2 note card, and I believe it's Hobby Lobby. This one, I um, it works fine, but it went through my Cutterbug Cricut. And so because it went in Cricut, and I didn't stop when I met resistance, it damaged the edge of the folder, which didn't seem to um, damage to interfere with um, how it works. So I'm going to give it a couple more tries, but I really don't like things kind of broken or torn. That's kind of one of my flaws, I think. 
So when they have this on sale again, I'm sure I'll buy it again so I can have two because I like it to be kind of nice looking. However, this is the folder that I used. And so um, I actually cut all of these cards myself. So I did about 25 um, teacher appreciation gift baskets and um, each had five cards. And this is from regular card stock that you eight and a half by 11 inch card stock that you, you know, cut in half the long way and get your A2 card. So I did that. However, the envelopes, I did not make the envelopes. I got them from, I think Hobby Lobby or Michaels. This is only four. I have another one. But these are the these are the cards for that gift basket. So that was in there, in the white ribbon. Then they had, um, oh, and also in the tumbler, it had um, packs of Country Time Lemonade packs in there about four packs of that two to four packs um it was the undergo where you just mix it with water so i put them actually in the tumbler then these are popcorn packs and this tag uh, i believe i got it from the silhouette store maybe not sure sometimes i get a little mixed up of whether i buy it from the store or whether i create it myself because it's so easy to do in the silhouette but i cut plenty of tags and then made a sleeve for uh, microwave popcorn out of craft card stock and these stars actually came from a, a um, digital paper line that I purchased and I just printed up a whole page full of stars and cut them out and kept them on the side and I do that from time to time when I find something I can use interchangeably for different things so when I get ready to create it doesn't I don't have to stop I like to put some sort of embellishment but that one i put two of those and then i um had a bag of chocolates what are they you gotta have chocolates hmm they're on the table there so i get them but um and some of them i actually did this shoe now the, i didn't do an orange shoe i did red i did green and that school bus yellow kind of orange color to coordinate with the actual package but this is my first shoe i believe this is the one that i practiced with when I'm starting a project, I I really, I think, take a long time to create something that I like. And um, when I get to it, that way I can mass produce. And this is, um, it just has different supplies in it that, you know, is a teacher thing. Um, rulers, pen, pencil, dry erase markers, glue sticks, different things. Because I, I usually stock up... Um, a back to school which they actually have in the stores at some stores now but back to school I stock up on it and um, so when I'm ready for the actual event or the season that I'm creating these um, favor boxes and gift baskets I have I have what I need I don't like running out but um, this box is a SVG um, file this shoe this tennis sneaker is a SVG file from svgcuts.com and so I purchased that file and um they have it where you can um i can't remember when you go on the site you could ask for permission to sell their items at like um local um local craft shows or if you have your own website you can purchase it where you can sell it on your website but they do have restrictions on how you sell those so if you're interested in downloading their files you um, need to read their information on you know what they uh, want you to and not to do with their files so I do have permission to sell them at, and locally and I'm in um, the metro Atlanta area and so each year I'm selling more and more of these baskets so this year uh, I said about 20 but it was really about 25 because what happens is I sent out an email to people who regularly purchase things for me or areas where I kind of sell some of my things and um, pre-order I take pre-orders so I'm not stressed out come the day of the event or the week of the event but I always have people who show their friends or they need more than they thought and so even when it's time for the actual event I um, personalize them I do different things to make them you know appreciate it all right so the other thing let me get the candy then I'll show you the one thing that I hadn't finished up I thought I I guess you can call it a tutorial, but it's fairly simple. Oh. 
All right, so this is a bag of chocolates. I'm not sure what's in this one because it's glued shut. But most of them have either had Hershey's Kisses or sometimes I'll individually wrap the um, the nuggets, Hershey's Nuggets. And this is one you know, that I put together, but it has a die-cut apple, and I use my Cricut cartridge, Doodle Charm cartridge, because I like the apple that's on there. And so this apple is pop dotty you know it has the did I use the cricket mm, not sure I believe I used the cricket or maybe I used the silhouette and the reason why I'm questioning it is because I have this little dotted line all the way around like a um, stitching faux stitching let me see if you can maybe say I don't know why I have this shadow let's see I'm sorry about that I'm not sure if it's going to be dark let me get more light open the blind that may help hold on Sometimes if I have more daylight when I'm filming, you see better. And I'm not sure if you can actually see the shadow. I see the shadow on the screen and it drive, it's driving me crazy. But let's see. We can get closer, closer, see, and start. But if you can really look close, you'll see that little teeny line that's full stitching. And so that's why I think I did it on a silhouette because you can do the um, inset and then you can change the line feature on the inset. Offset and said, mm hmm and then you can change the color, have it print print the line. So I love that feature. Anyway, these are chocolates, and I actually did a scallop circle that I put here on the original, and I think I have pictures, so I'll, I'll post those um, on my Pinterest um, board for teacher appreciation, and then or and I'll put it on my blog. And so the blog is workshop scraps with an S on the end by Brenda. Dot blog stop. No, it's workshopscraps.blogspot.com, and the Pinterest site is the same. Or you can look me up by Brenda Hill. You'll see that. Then I did this sneaker, so I showed you that. But the last thing I did were these um, hand sanitizers that had the teacher's name on the back, or I had best teacher. If I got the order in time enough, which wasn't a lot of time, if you could tell me a few days in advance, I could go ahead and cut out the vinyl to put the teacher's actual name. I think they like that. And they can identify their things from someone else's, you know, in their classroom or wherever they may use this on their desk. Um, also, if a student uses it and forgets to put it back or misplaces it, it's easily to identify as a particular teacher's and then you know they don't get theirs mixed up with other teachers but I ordered these also by the case um, and they, it's hand sanitizer so it comes with a label on it and what you do is I prefer to use um, you can either use goof off or goo gone and I prefer goo gone and the reason why I prefer goo gone is the smell is orange it's a kind of overpowering citrus smell but um, Goof Off smells more like paint thinner. And um, I use them both depending on what it is. But when I tried to use Goof Off on these, it um, damaged the plastic and it didn't look smooth. And because I wasn't putting a label over this, I was actually, it was going to be transparent where you could see through it. I did not like that cloudy look. So I prefer to use this. And I use this most time. I use these on, on jars that I reuse when I... Um, I'm going to put treats in them. Um, right now I'm looking for um, those small milk jars, just like the small cappuccinos come in, the um, Starbucks cappuccinos. So I've been online kind of looking for those, and I see for wedding favors, um, they sell those. And they're not expensive, but I'd like to get them less expensive. That way I can keep the price of my gift baskets reasonable. Because most um, people have, their kids have two, three teachers and paraprofessionals and I want to be able for them to be able to, you know, afford them and feel good about what they're giving their teachers. Okay, so you get the sanitizer and you put your label removal solution on and clean it and wash it and soap and get all the um, slickness off so you're ready to use this. And so then here on the internet, I downloaded this saying, and it says, um, it's just, it's kind of like Subway um, a subway phrase with different phrases about hands, happy hands, clean hands, grateful hands, warm hands, loving hands, gentle hands. Either way, I did this um, phrase on hands. And we'll see how that this goes because when I had my express workshop for creating these, I had my 
measurements written down so I know exactly where to cut these. And for today, I don't have measurements written down, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to cut it. I only need one. And I got a great tip from someone online that when you're cutting these, you want to make sure, and I'll show you how you roll it up and put it in there. Let's see if I can figure out where to start it. It's going to be at the bottom of the jar, about there. So we're going to cut it about right there and maybe right there so it's not too tall. But you want to make sure you roll it the right way because it really is almost impossible to get out once you put it in the jar. You can get it out, but it's a hardship. So, And the reason why I know you can get it out because I put it in the wrong way in the, in the sanitizer container and had to use tweezers to get it out. So, so kind of want it even on both sides. This is really cool. Now, this is ink. This is transparency um, film, printable, and you have to print this either with a laser printer or a um, Xerox copy machine. You cannot use inkjet ink. That's very important when you make this because it will smear and dissolve and you have a big mess inside your container. So here comes the hard work. Um, let's see. I usually have leftover here. There are skewers or popsicle sticks that I use for this. And you want to be mindful to keep your pump screwed in so that you're not getting sanitizer all over you. And you take your cut piece that I just cut. Here it is. And I, I like it. I think I had it in the back. Or did I have it in the front? Hmm. Let's see. Because I put their name on one side. And I put these happy hands on the other side. Like that. Inside. And I think I want to trim it a little bit more. So that it fits in nice. And I'm going to put the happy hands in the back. In the front. And the reason why I put it in the front is because when I curve this transparency, it fits better in the front. So you roll up your transparency and this is upright. So I want it facing this way. So I'm going to roll it. Roll it. This, I roll it small enough so it fits inside the container like this. Like so. Down in there. Then I use my skewer to get it in all the way. Uh-oh. Get it in all the way. Not in. Now. And then I'm pushing it against the wall of the sanitizer. Oh. Now what I did is when I, I, I when I formatted this phrase, I did it on regular copy paper and took it to the copy center and I had them copied onto these transparencies. But when I was I also um, have inkjet transparencies that I practice with the plate around with to see how it fit in the jar and all that. Alright, so you get that in. You screw your top back on. You clean up any mess that you've made. Like that. And then the next step is you're going to put the name on the back. So I've gone ahead and used the Cameo Silhouette to cut out the name Best Teacher. And Best Teacher is what I put on the um, this teacher is what I put on the actual sanitizers for the teachers that I didn't get their names in time. And actually on the cup, I didn't tell you, but on the actual uh, uh, mug, I put the teacher's name on the back. Miss Johnson, Miss Smith, Miss Anderson, whoever. But if I didn't get their name in time, it's just said best teacher or you're the best. So I've gone ahead and cut this out on the cameo silhouette. I've already weeded it and it says best teacher. So I'm going to pull that off. And my, um, this is black 
permanent vinyl is by GMI. GMI is not um, Oracle because I don't have any Oracle. I have this particular um, sewing center that I go to. I think it's SingerSewing.com, but they have a location in Buckhead, which is considered Metro Atlanta-ish, which is about 20 minutes away from me. And what I like about them, I've said before, is that they are local, and they're open on Saturdays. So I don't work on Saturdays. So if I really need something, I can go there. And what I do is I buy it by the yard. It comes in 18 inch width and I buy it by the yard or you get three yards for maybe $10. I can't remember, $9.99, something like that. But I have them cut it in 12 inch pieces. So it's 18 inches long, but 12 inch pieces so that I can use it in my silhouette very easily and not have to you know, try cutting it. Some people cut on their silhouette with just the vinyl. And it looks good on video. Looks good, but that just seemed like something I would mess up. So, this works for me. I'm always in search of how to store it and better tips on organizing. And I'm constantly reorganizing my craft room. You think I shouldn't be, but I am because I find where things aren't convenient and I can't get to them. Okay, so this is Best Teacher. Now, when I printed this out this way, Best Teacher didn't fit. You see? Didn't fit. So what I did was I put Best on first. This or this way. I put Best. Uh -huh, like that. And you can use a popsicle stick, a skewer, or a scraper, or a credit card, gift card. I'm going to try using my bone folder. I did best first. Okay. See? Nice. Then I'm just going to center teacher kind of in the middle. Go ahead and put that on. Best teacher, and then it has a little hand saying about clean hands, healing hands, all that on the front, which was very nice. And so that actually went in the gift basket. Um, let's see how I did it. I think I kind of did it this way to present it. They all were in a big cellophane gift bag that I used, and then I tied it with um, red, white, or red and green, or white and red, white and call that school bus color. It's not really yellow, it's not really orange, but a combination of those ribbons. And then I have a long tag that says thank you and I cur I um what did I do? I curved the edges on it. I just use regular cardstock that I get. Um let's see. AC AC more cardstock and I'm almost out. I like these because these make great instant huge tags and whites. Cream or white is what I prefer. And so they come like this and usually what I'll do if I'm in a pinch, don't have anything specialized, I'll curve the edges. I'll use one of my corner punches, corner randoms, and um, punch a hole and um, stamp it with the sentiment and it's perfect. So you can even score it in the middle, fold it over punch it, put a ribbon in, and then you can use that as a gift card to attach to your gift basket or your gift bag. So I really like that. But of course you put these, maybe I did, I think I did it this way. What did I put front? This was in the back somehow, like that. This was turned this way so you can see best teacher, see that name. Like this, mm, I think I used it this way. It made sense at the time. The little candy, the little cards with the ribbon around them. Kind of tilt it that way if you can get an idea if you're looking at it from the front how it looked. And then it was all wrapped in cellophane with confetti. Very nice. And usually I'll um, punch out little note cards or punch out, um, not note cards, little tags that say thank you and put apples on them. I have a whole tote. Those um, bins, those art bins that you get when Michael has them on sale. I have a whole tote of them with just each season. So the teacher one has ribbons in it specifically for school, colors, card socks, um, 
die cuts that I've done and embellished and glossy accent that I didn't use from years before because you never know when you want to do a note for a teacher so they turned out really well so I was very impressed with them and really liked them and each year I, I like what I do so I hope um, you enjoy this video please leave a comment if you like if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and um, thanks for watching